I believe the Constitution is a divinely inspired document, and this uh, painting of the signing of the Constitution, which might have compacted them a little bit more than they actually were at the time, uh, but it, it shows the individuals who were involved in that process, and it really took a, a group of people who were willing to uh, be visionary and to look ahead to what would happen in the future and to make decisions that would try to balance the different uh, desires for power that people might have and balance states versus the federal government, balance the competing interests at the, in the federal government by establishing three different branches of government, each of which have certain rights and responsibilities. And so this is one of the uh, paintings that I've always had in my office because I think it's really critical to remember the founding of this nation. Years ago, I was out at Valley Forge, and uh, I picked up a book uh, by, it was, it was about Washington and his generals, and also his opponents, and one of the British generals was quoted as saying the difference between America and Ireland is that the Americans actually had guns and could defend themselves. So one of the preeminent rights in the Constitution, the second Bill of Rights, actually, is the right to bear arms, and so this uh, painting of Bunker Hill depicts that and you'll, you'll notice that yes we were armed in order to defend ourselves uh, and it was an important difference between America's push for independence and what happened in Ireland and so the colonists were able instead of being colonists then to assert their rights as Americans and then when the Constitution was adopted one of the first things that was done by the new Congress is to establish a Bill of Rights listing specific rights that government could not abridge, and those include the, the freedom of speech, freedom of press, the freedom of religion, and yes, the right to bear arms.